Hi everyone. Hey, it's Lonnie. I was gonna do the signatures today and then I remembered I had some very white pages and I thought why not do a stenciling session. And so, because I didn't coffee dye them all and I, I don't like everything coffee dyed for some reason so I will do some acrylics, I think, today. And I thought you might want to hang out and see. So, I have the sea sponge. And I'm not going to put all the papers on all at once. I'm just going to go through them and see what needs done where. So I could do like a, a lot of colors or I could just do one. Let me start with one and we'll see how that goes. And I need something to put the paint on. Is the backing from my shelf paper or wallpaper. We can use that. I'm not really loving that color. Oh, let's see what happens if I add some ink. For some reason, I'm craving a latte now. That was the um, ground espresso. Well, maybe that's why. Okay, I'm just gonna, maybe I'll get like a, a two tone thing going here. Actually, that is not bad. I probably should have put something on my board. And I totally forgot the stencil. <laughs> I don't know why it feels like Monday morning. It's not. It's Today is Wednesday when I'm filming it, so... I don't know. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night because we had watermelon for dessert yesterday and yeah, it kind of made me have to get up during the night if you know what I mean. Okay, um... Something is smelling. I think it's the... Hmm, maybe it's the ink. I don't know. Okay, so I did that on that side and forgot the stencil. How about on this side we do... I don't know. I made this one out of hot glue. Let's see if that does anything. What I, I mean, I like the shapes I can get out of the hot glue, but what I don't like is that they're so tall, like they're not flat stencils. So then um, you have to actually really get in there to get the design. I mean, for some things it doesn't pose a problem, but then for other things, like if I was using something other than the sponge here, it would pose more of a problem, I think. How does that look? Oh, 
Not bad. I just wanted some something different and usually when I think of these things I've already got the signatures together and everything else and it seems kind of like an afterthought so I wanted to be a little more intentional with this one I'm kind of liking the blended look I'm getting from the acrylic paint and the ink. They're both um, water soluble, so should be fine. Okay, so there you can see this is just a sea sponge and then there's a stencil. So, I'm thinking now that doodling would be nice on this one because I could outline it and do some other stuff, but I'd have to wait till it dries, so. Okay, I put that one aside. Put this aside and let it dry. Let's see what else. Now I did splurge and buy a branch or a tree. Tree? Sure, let's say tree. Branches of trees, how about that? Um, I bought, yeah, I splurged and I think for this one, I have some dried gold on here and might pick it up, which would be kind of nice. But I'm thinking I want a little more espresso in there. And then I'm gonna probably mix it up a bit more. So there's that. So then I just have to I'm going to do something this time that I usually never do because I don't think of it in time. And that is to tape it down. Um, I have, oh, here, I'll use this. Why not? That's what I was looking for anyways. It just reusing it, which is a good thing, right? All right. We are reusing something. Okay, that way it won't move on me so much, hopefully. And then this could take a bit of doing here. The stencil is flatter, but the sea the sponge is porous. So we'll see what happens here. I think this one will turn out kind of nice because I'm not mixing all of the paint and the ink I have there. And some of the gold might rub off if I make it. I didn't realize I needed a play day so much. This is perfect. Just filling up pages or getting pages ready. It's kind of a luxury now because usually there's this um, 
you know, this urgency to get going on the journal and, you know, decorate and stuff after you get it together. But I think I'm going to really enjoy what I'm doing here. It's been really hot here lately. And uh, not to complain, just stating the fact that it seems I'm developing sinus issues. And so I've been um, having a little more a little more activity in the way of headaches. So if I'm speaking more slowly, I'm trying to choose my words and not have to backtrack. And with the sinus issues, with the 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 um, scent coming off the oil. All right, what's this? What fresh paint do we have there? I don't know how I managed to get a stamp. Oh, is that from the other side? It is. I stamped on the other side and that flower came up. That's all right. That's okay. All right, so this has to go aside. I don't think I got any gold off though. Just kind of sad, but you know, I do know how to add gold. Okay. There are some fall themed pages in this one. I don't want to do a whole, you know, seasonal thing. So I'm still going eclectic um, in more ways than one. That's kind of my style. That's what I like. I was thinking too, this would be kind of nice if it was outlined. But you can see here the different shades, which I do like. Then, let's see, what else can we put on here for texture? Could stamp some stuff, I guess. But I already did. <laughs> um, you know what? I have these little punched items and little tear aparts here and I have a ton of these little leaves oh look at that I have leaves that I've punched out and I have like different colors I have I have hearts too but keeping with the tree theme here I have leaves I have butterflies that could be put on there oh, there's even a little wooden bird how fun oh look there's some gold I won't use the hearts for this one but the others butterflies you could add a ton of butterflies. And we could do more leaves. I think I have some leaves that aren't all orange. Here's another green one. Yeah, so what I do is I punch out shapes when I have some leftover um, paper that I've been working with. And so I have all these. So why not use them? Thing is, they're all mixed up, so I gotta, oh, there's a green butterfly. There's a green and blue butterfly. 
so yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you're not finding this too boring. I might um, fast forward this for you. All right, so if I didn't have that stencil, I could have drawn the branches on, but the rest of this is just wonderful because um, I don't know, it looks like something a kid might have made. <laughs> and so what? I mean, I'm somebody's kid. All right, so that page has now not so blank. And two, I don't know how exactly I'll continue decorating it once it's in the journal, but you know, it's, it's colorful. Yes, it may be seasonal, but we have seasons in our life too, not just seasons um, in nature. So, there. Good job. <laughs> I have to congratulate myself because nobody else here. All right, let's see, what else? Oh, I could have done something with that book page. But I'm kind of feeling like I wanna do some more painting. So why not? Oh, look at there. It's got coffee dye on it, but I could probably do this one first. And so, hmm, I have quite a few stencils that I've tried to make over, over time. And I recently just found them. As you can see, they are see-through, transparent. I kind of lost. <laughs> so here I am and I found them and yeah. Oh, this one cut out too much. It's a sunflower. So I was actually left with the sunflower cut out. So I'm going to put that over here. Feathers. I like feathers, um, puzzle pieces, that's a nice one, I have it used in a bit. There's the actual sunflower, there's a bird that I've used before. I think I've used all of these before. Maybe not in journals, but for covers and things. There's a tree and a heart. I'm not sure now. I 
wanted like something kind of to go together. So maybe the fern and the sunflower. I know they don't grow together, but what I'm thinking is kind of green and yellow. They complement. All right, so then I need a green. All right, I found these little guys. They're kind of mostly empty already, but. Okay, so this will be the fern and it'll be kind of in the back ground here and I'm gonna put a little bit of mix that up I guess gotta remember I want to put some pockets and other things in here yet too so Not just painting and stenciling. All right, let's see, how's that look? Not bad, you can kind of tell it's supposed to be something. Do this one over here. What I kind of don't like is the sponge gets stuck on the stencil and then it lifts up. And of course I did not tape this one down. How could I? I've got a book page there, so. It'll be all right. And then one more this way, I guess. Messy but fun. Okay, that's that one. And then I want some yellow. These are just the cheap ones that I found at the dollar store in the palette. That was a really great way to just try them and see if you like them. And now I'm kind of hooked. That's just how that goes. Um, do I need any brown in there? Like, uh, hmm. oh, not brown, but I have this other ink, Shattered Rose. It's a pink. I don't want all of it pink and I don't want all of it to even have some pink, but I thought just, you know, at the end, add some highlights. Okay, I'm just gonna overlap it here. This way it looks like the happy sunflower is growing behind the ferns. Carefully here. All right, how's that look? Hmm. 
the middle where the dots are needs a little bit more. Okay, so it's got some green in it. Not bad. I'm going to do the other or another one over here. Maybe with some more yellow. And then we'll see what happens over on this side. I didn't rinse my sponge out, I just figured um, I would take a different part of it that wasn't used, but I guess I got some green. Oh well, that's okay. Alright, hey, that looks good. Mm-hmm, I like that. Okay, I think I'm done with that. Dry that over there. Or is that tattered rose color? <laughs> I'm gonna add it to the um, yellow because I don't want it to look like I bled all over my <laughs> I'm just going to see what happens if I put it in the middle here. It's not much. Not much rose in there. It's kind of blended with the brown. That's okay. Still got some green. Adding... Adding a little yellow to the um, okay. Yes, I am having a lot, a lot of fun here. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for this page. It's a happy page, though, right? I mean. What can go wrong with sunflowers, really? And again, I, I don't know, I could outline this, but at this point, I don't really want to. And now I could turn this over and do the other side, but I think I want to do something else. Um, try something else. Pardon my fingers here. That's the um, the downside of having fun is all the mess. I was thinking I'm going to use this as a, you know, protect protective thing. Then what I was thinking, I found this flower. And I was thinking, what if what if I had some um okay that needs to go and wash too. I was wondering if that would make like a good sponge. So I think I'm just gonna try that and see. Got a couple different kinds of red here. One is bright and one not so bright. All right, so first I gotta mix this up. I just found this paintbrush that's still in water from last time. Oops. Okay, so I just want to kind of give myself like a flat surface. Okay. 
then chip that in there and see. Hey, that's kind of cool. I don't know if it looks like a flower exactly, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> you can, it can be whatever you want it to be, right? All right, um, I'm gonna make some more. All right, so this is kind of turned into a different kettle of fish in the way of how to prepare papers for your junk journal. But That does kind of look like somebody bled all over the page. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to fix this with something else. <laughs> um, okay, I think I can put that away now. I was thinking green. I don't know if I have any water left in there. The nope, that's all red. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Leaves. I have leaf stencils. I just need green. glad I can edit these things so that you don't see all my thinking. <laughs> it's kind of messy. I <laughs> don't really want to see all that. Anyway, so I need this again. Still got green on it. Look at that. Okay. So we're just gonna do this. Okay, almost done. You can sort of imagine that this is a, a garden and there's a vine in it. And there's something red growing behind it. Okay, there we go. This might be a good page to put one of those insert pockets. That way you don't see all the red. Because I do think it's a little much. But that, you know, that could just be my take on it. All right, so it's been messy, but it's been fun. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that. And we'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.